I'm Jeremy with Offensive Group for the Armory Life. If I could snap my fingers and take us back to the affordable days of ammo, I would do it in a heartbeat. I mean, if I had that ability, I'd revive Surge Cola, I'd bring back Harambe, and I'd probably redo the last episode of Game of Thrones. But I digress. Back to the topic at hand, ammo costs. Without magic abilities that rival some of the worst superheroes, how can we train longer and more often without raising our ammo budgets? 9mm AR-15s. That's how. Springfield Armory, patron saint of affordable AR-15s, has iterated on their popular line of Saint AR-15 rifles to bring us a dedicated 9mm AR-15. No magwell adapters needed. Best yet, they made the choice to use the rugged, reliable Colt pattern magazines for this carbine. The Saint Victor 9mm hosts all the great features you have come to expect from Springfield's Saint line of AR-15s. B5 Systems Furniture, spring-loaded flip-up sights, Ambi selector, flat face trigger, forged upper and lower receivers, all in a package under seven pounds. The St. Victor 9mm carbine utilizes the blowback method of operation, which allows for minimal parts and supreme reliability. With the goal of reliability, Springfield chose to utilize the Colt pattern style magazines for the St. Victor 9mm. If you're not familiar with the Colt pattern style magazines, they were developed in the early 80s by altering an Uzi magazine the Uzi magazines were developed in the early 50s. You can see where I'm going here. The Colt pattern magazines have been a proven design for over 70 years. The magazine sports a 32 round capacity with an all metal design. The magazines utilize a double stack, double feeding approach, meaning the magazine does not narrow at the top and alternates each round's feeding position. Since the Colt pattern mags were designed for serious use carbines and SMGs, Utilizing them in an AR-15 allows you to retain the same manual of arms, keeping the magazine release in the same position you've been accustomed to. Okay, so let's get back to my first statement. We can train without increasing our ammo budgets? Sure can. Let's take a St. Victor 223 carbine and set it right next to the 9mm variant. Without the magazines inserted, you're hard pressed to tell any difference. The similarities allow you to set up the St. Victor 9mm in identical configurations and shoot for half the price. The manual of arms is all the same, so your reps will translate to your 223 AR-15 perfectly. So what about those who might be new to an AR-15 or someone who might be shy of recoil? The 9mm St. Victor shoots quite softly with the blowback design and the forward blast diverter. The St. Victor 9mm carbine is a great way to introduce new shooters to the AR-15 platform. Let's dive into some details on the specific features of the St. Victor 9mm carbine. For the furniture, Springfield chose the ever-popular B5 Systems Bravo stock, trigger guard, and Type 23 P-Grip. The stock is slim, rock solid, and easily adjustable, with comfort from the no-slip cushion butt pad. The Type 23 P-Grip has an aggressive texturing, ensuring you keep your grip on the rifle in any conditions. Springfield included their spring-loaded flip-up iron sights, which is always a welcome feature on any rifle. They stay out of your way until you need them. For the muzzle device, Springfield added their forward blast diverter, which in my opinion was the smart choice, since a muzzle brake on a 9mm carbine doesn't affect performance as much as its 223 sibling. If you are familiar with AR-15s, you understand that they operate on a direct gas impingement system. This is where a 9mm AR-15 differs. Instead of using the gases for cycling the bolt, the rifle uses the inertia of the bullet firing from the cartridge. As soon as the primer is struck, the bullet travels down the barrel and the cartridge travels rearward, sending the bolt back, which ejects the spent cartridge and chambers a new round. So what are the benefits of a direct blowback? Reliability. There's less gas in the chamber, less ports to follow up, and generally fewer moving parts to break. For kitting out your rifle specific to you, Springfield offers an M-lock rail with more ports than you will know what to do with. This allows the addition of a grip, flashlight, sling, bipod, etc. For my specific rifle, I chose a Trigicon MRO with a green reticle, mounted to an American Defense Manufacturing QD mount. On the rail, I selected a Surefire Scout Pro with a push button tail cap. Directly behind that, I attached a QD for my sling. For my modified C-clamp grip, I have fallen in love with the BCM Mod 3 Vert grip. I don't use it as much as a vertical grip. Heck, I don't know anyone with hands that small, but I use it to stack my pinky and my ring finger on, which gives you a great deal of control over the rifle. For the sling, I chose the Grove Tech two-point padded Sentinel sling in black. These slings are super lightweight, durable, and come with QD swivels. Getting out on the range, I was very curious to feel the recoil impulse for myself. I loaded up some Remington 9mm Freedom Seeds into the Colt pattern mags, and then stepped out for some fun. 
Everything was perfectly familiar for my other Saint rifles, even the loading procedure. One little change that I really appreciated was the new 45 degree selector. Instead of a longer 90 degree throw, Springfield used a 45 degree selector, which is a really nice modern touch. The first few shots put a wide smile on my face. You still receive a satisfying thump from the 9mm round, but it's less than your typical 223 AR-15. I appreciate this a lot because training on this 9mm AR-15 will translate well to all my other AR-15s, and that is what I'm looking forward to most. The St. Victor 9mm ran flawlessly throughout the day, and even when shooting fast with high round counts, the handguard didn't heat up to uncomfortable levels. The flat face trigger made for a comfortable and easy trigger pull, no matter where my finger ended up. A nice touch over the traditional curve. After a few hundred rounds, I really appreciated the slimmer Bravo stock over the SOP mod version. It makes the rifle feel tighter and has less bulk on the stock. Wrapping up a range day where I was able to run a rifle and a pistol with the same ammo was refreshing. I'm looking forward to some more range sessions to get reps in for half the ammo cost of 223. If I could have wished for Springfield to make the perfect 9mm AR-15, this just about checks all those boxes for me. I look forward to getting in some more range time with this carbine while keeping my wife happy that our bank account isn't in despair. Do yourself a favor and give this one a closer look. It might reinvigorate your love for an AR-15 in a new way or just allow you to get out on the range more often. Also, if anyone figures out that magic finger snapping trick, let's get a St. Victor rail with Picatinny all along the top.